Hey guys, Brenton here with RevitFamily.biz, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about type catalogs. This video's purpose is not to go into a great amount of depth about what a type catalog is and how to edit a type catalog. Um, but what I do want to show you in this video is just some of the very basics if you're a casual family user and you're just trying to use our cabinet families these are the key points you need to know in order to use them I will make another video for all of you who are interested in what a type catalog is exactly how to make one how to edit one and what is what exactly is happening with a type catalog all of that is more in-depth and will be covered in a different video because in order to understand all that you need to be familiar with building families and if you're not um, used to building families you don't need to know all that what, I, what you do need to know are a couple things one that type that to use our our cabinet families you need to use them with type catalogs and two because of that when you bring when you load a family into Revit you should not browse to the family on Windows and drag and drop it into the project. You should not do that. You should not open the family up in the family editor and load it directly into Revit either. The proper way to put them into the project would be to go to insert and load family. You should use the load family dialog box. If you do that every time, there will be no problems. So what's going to happen is you're going to use the load family dialog box and you're going to go browse to your families and you're just going to pick one. So let's pick the sink and we're going to click open. Now a normal family that doesn't use type catalogs, it just loads right in and then you're done. When you use a type catalog, this, brow this um, window pops up and it wants you to select which um, which versions of this family you want to use, you know, which instances or which types, I should say, which types of this family. So all of our families have all sorts of types, right? Because just even a standard base cabinet comes in different standard heights, right? There's 36 inches for a kitchen. There's 30 inches for a desk. There's 34 inches for an ADA kitchen. So it already has different heights. Then there's different depths, right? There's maybe 21 inches for vanities in bathrooms, or there's the standard 24 inches for kitchens and desks, or even 30 inches if you're doing a deep desk. And so if you take all those combinations, you can see how one family could have many, many, many different types. So for instance, we have the sink family, and you can see how many different types there are. There's no reason to load all of these in because we probably don't need all of them in our project. If we load them all in, our project size balloons up quite a bit. And so the point of type catalogs is to save the projects from being ballooned up with family types that don't need to be loaded in. The other thing you can use these type catalogs for is to make mass changes very quickly. So if you wanted to rename all of these types, you could do it very quickly by editing the type catalog. And again, that's a topic for another video, but there are lots of benefits to using type catalogs. But there are also caveats, and that's the point of this video, is just to show you what's happening and what you need to make sure to do. So when you're ready to load these in, you just pick what ones you want from this, um, from this catalog that pops up. So if you know your cabinets are only gonna be 36 inches high, maybe you only want the ones that are 36 inches in height. So look, we can pick all those. But we also know maybe we don't, we're not gonna have small kitchen sinks. We're only gonna have the double kitchen sink. And we also know we don't want round bathroom sinks and we don't want the surface mounted sinks. So really, of all of these different options, all we needed was two. So we just picked those two and we loaded in. And that saved a ton of space because um, the other option would be just to bring everything in all at once if we didn't have a type catalog. So that is the purpose of a type catalog. That's all you really need to know to use the families. Like I said, check out our other videos for more in-depth editing and understanding of type catalogs. But 
Thanks for um, checking out our cabinets. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.